I'm from People Before Profit. My name is uh, Mehmet and I'm here today standing in solidarity with the uh, Sudanese comrades, friends and uh, Sudanese community in Ireland and their families back at home who are facing yet another horror in the country uh, thanks to the two generals who are now fighting for power and in the process uh, uh, murdering people. We have been on this place, in this place some years ago when the Sudanese revolution was uh, on its height and it was being attacked by counter-revolutionaries. Today we are standing again in solidarity with the Sudanese people. But we can't just think in isolation. I think we need to look at what has been happening over the years. And there comes in the EU into the picture. Back in 2014, 15, 16, the EU funded Sudanese warlords in order to stop the refugees from crossing Sudan coming into Europe. And today the weaponry, the machinery, the might that we see is part of that funding and that funding has been now part of the problem that Sudanese revolutionaries are facing in the hands of the counter-revolution. So solidarity with the Sudanese people, solidarity with the Sudanese rev revolutionaries and shame on the EU and all EU governments who using the refugees have been funding, supporting these warlords. Voices are loud and being heard. We are representing the Sudanese Doctors Union of Ireland and uh, we're here um, as part of the wider Sudanese community to tell the, uh, to uh, express our anger and to uh, find a way uh, together to help the Sudanese uh, civilians, especially in Sudan, uh, help them in different ways during this difficult time. The war and the conflict in Sudan is taken, uh, you know, it's all the civilians being um, uh, killed, being uh, bombarded, being uh, killed uh, in front of their houses and uh, the conflict um, and the war. We want that to stop and to stop right now. And we are here to uh, as well uh, make our voices louder and ask the international uh, community and the uh, UN, the Security Council, as we have done through a draft a week ago, uh, to take the responsibility and uh, um, uh, move quickly to stop this war, stopping the war, stop the uh, spread of the war uh, in Sudan and across the borders. As we know, Sudan has a, a very, uh, it's a big country and has many borders with seven or uh, countries and uh, the Red Sea as well, if you consider that as uh, an exit from Sudan. Uh, so uh, we would like as well to um, ask the I Irish uh, government, the Irish community to support us during this campaign. <laughs> evacuated out of Khartoum last Sunday, so I just came along to support the, the demonstration. We didn't experience a very difficult situation where we were living, it was actually quiet. So we hoped in the first five days that it would remain quiet and we could stay in Khartoum. But by the Saturday, which was the seventh day, we, I decided I should uh, get out and take my daughter out. So we left in a French evacuation flight on the Sunday, last Sunday, and we arrived in Dublin on Wednesday. My, my daughter and son were brought up there, yeah. Do you wish to go back? Yes, if it is at all possible, we wish to go back. My husband chose to stay there and uh, we would like to go back, yes. yeah. Um, for the Irish government, I suppose politically there is a very, very, very strong feeling in Sudan that the young and peaceful uh, protesters of four years ago who led the revolution, that they have been badly let down by the international community and by the UN. Um, the, uh, there is four countries, the US and uh, the UK, the UAE and Saudi Arabia who have been leading uh, discussions to set up a new government and they have largely ignored the peaceful protesters uh, from four years ago, preferring to speak to these two men who are now fighting and so in so doing they, have, uh, they are part of the problem here. So I think the Europeans largely remained out of it. So if it were possible, uh, then the Irish could try and press the Europeans to, to shift the conversation, to take into account what everyone has to say on Sudan, not just the people with the guns. <laughs> And some 
whom it may happen to be the main source of medicine for all of Suwar. And yesterday, they also destroyed the pharmaceutical centers that made these medications. They also evacuated hospitals by force. They have to, the army, the military, the rapid support forces force people out of hospitals to turn them into what you'd call just to use it for shelter, use it as a spot along with other people's homes. So there's this saying that, that, that's that been the symbol of the revolution which is Medani al-Bas which translates to civilian rule or bust which means that people must be in charge of their own fate, not the militia government. Uh, thanks for uh, to people before profit. I just want to say a few words about the uh, current war in Sudan, the atrocities and the rule of the EU in empowering and legitimization of the rapid support uh, force unit, um, as previously known as Janjaweed. Uh, EU uh, EU spent over 750 million euro. That money helped empower and uh, legitimize the rapid support force, which is currently fa uh, fighting the Sudanese army in Sudan. This war, we as uh, Sudanese, has nothing to do with, with this war. This war is about power between the two generals. One of them has been empowered and legitimized by the EU uh, money. Uh, from 2014 up to 2018. I would like to thank um, all the Irish uh, people. I would like to greatly thank um, people before profit for their tremendous continuous support to Sudanese uh, cause. I think we need an immediate um, action. Uh, otherwise, we are facing a humanitarian disaster. Sudan is a big country. There are for over 40 million currently facing war and um, huge uh, 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 displacement and lack of uh, health service. Over 70% of hospitals are out of service completely at the moment and um, the life standard uh, have um, subsided greatly within the last two weeks. We need the international community, we need the Irish public to help put pressure on the Irish government, EU and the United Nations in order to stop the war immediately and help transition towards civilian-led government in Sudan. Thank you. I congratulate you to be out here today in defense of peace and justice. Uh, 